All right, I'm back with Nick Baumgarter. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers this season. Well, Western, as a lot of us know, will be entering the football bowl subdivision, we call it now, which is not, not 1A anymore. It's FBS. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be entering that unrestricted for the first time ever. They just finished their uh, transitional two transitional seasons, so they'll be uh, fully eligible in the Sun Belt, eligible for a bowl and all that good stuff. Uh, so that's all the, the positives for them. And the negatives are that they are coming off one of their worst seasons they've ever had, the most losses they've ever had in the mm -hmm. season, they were 2-10. Um, lost quite a bit from that team, but they return a lot of young kids. They're really, really young on both sides of the ball, but a lot of athleticism, a lot of potential. Um, you know, they're going to have to earn their respect. They're going to have to work from the bottom up. Started uh, the season, they were picked to finish last mm -hmm. in the Sun Belt, didn't have any all-conference mentions, so that'll be a goal to them. A goal for them to improve on that, it's not hard to do that, all you got to do is win a couple games. Yep. So. Um, long way to go for them, but I think the, the steps are being taken properly for them to succeed at some point. How do you look at, their, look at their key player this season? Uh, there's a few. I mean, it's really going to be who's who's the quarterback, I think, is going to, at the end of the day. Brandon Smith, the senior, fifth-year senior, who hasn't ever started before. Mm -hmm. If he gets the job, or if uh, we've got two, uh, they've got two redshirt freshmen, uh, Marcus Vasquez, K1 Jakes, and a, a name that you might even remember, Kaj, Courtney Delcourt, Clint yeah. Franklin. Is a true freshman there this year, a big commit for them, so he's going to get a shot at it. Whoever wins that job will be the, the most important uh, mm -hmm. cog for the team, I think, this year. Yeah, well, what do you see their uh, final record as? Well, I think they can win as many as four. I think they could lose as many as 12. I mean, they're, they have a tough schedule again. They have a lot of good opponents. Central Arkansas is their one double-A opponent, but they're good. I mean, they're going to be ranked mm -hmm. when it comes in. So. It's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on a few breaks here and there. When, if they learn how to win a few ball games, four yeah. or five, I think maybe, uh, would be a real good season for them. If they can get five, if they can get six, that would be a great season. But yeah. four or five, I think, would be a good year for them right and now. And South Florida comes in, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think that's going to be a real big uh, awakening for them coming into L.T. Smith Stadium. Uh, sure. Because yeah. all them uh, beat reporters for the, uh, down there in Florida who are used to Raymond James Stadium. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Going to have to cram in, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Going to have to cram into it, yeah. But uh, that'll be a good, good draw mm -hmm. for Western as far as fans go. They're expecting to sell out on that one. I think it's a blackout, so you wear black, black shirts for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they're doing that, but Neither. that should be a big, big game for them. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a big East opponent coming in here, which is a pretty big deal to have that happen. Your first real year of one, one A is uh, not yeah. bad. And uh, the improvements have really been really fantastic to the stadium too. The what's that? Uh, the uh, Prumas Delta. Oh yeah, State. oh yeah, sure. They've got the new site on there now. It's everything's done. Everything's ready to go. Brand new field. I don't know if you've seen that. The surface is brand new. Just mm -hmm. put it in last year. They paid uh, the Kentucky game last year. Paid for that. Mm -hmm. The money they got from that paid for the field. So all that's done. The club level's done. The only thing left is the press box is still. Uh, but they don't care about us anyway. So yeah, you know how that goes, right? Okay. Yep. Uh, well, that wraps <laughs> up uh, part two and the final part. And thanks for Nick for joining me today. Thank you, Coach. Hey, Hello, uh, this is Kai Dramsey for YouTube Sports.